After 25 years, Jacob Wetterling's parents are not even close to giving up the search for their son. Wetterling was abducted from St. Joseph when he was 11 years old. Jacob, his brother, and friend were riding their bikes near their home when a masked gunman jumped out and took Jacob. That was October 22nd of 1989. Today, law enforcement is launching a new effort to find Wetterling by placing six billboards around the area where he went missing. Nina Moyni live in St. Cloud with how police think this will help. Nina? Jamie, you said it right there, October 22nd, meaning it's just around the corner, the 25-year anniversary of the day that Jacob was taken. Today, Patty and Jerry Wetterling were here in Stearns County at the Sheriff's Office saying they just couldn't believe how much time has passed. They said this building right here, the Sheriff's Office, was actually the head of the command post the very day that Jacob went missing. But a lot of tips, as you can imagine, have come in throughout the years, and they say 100 new tips came in since this summer when Jacob's story was featured on a national cable news program that looks for a missing and exploited children and they say these billboards will help build on that momentum of those new leads. Take a look at what these billboards look like right now. They show Jacob at the age where he was taken, 11 years old, and then they show the number to call with information and of course what he might look like today at age 36 using age progression technology. The Stearns County Sheriff says six of these billboards, all of them donated, will be staying up through throughout the St. Cloud and St. Joseph area through the end of the month. And Patty Wetterling said today she's hopeful that this new effort could be the break she's been working toward and praying for. Unlike um, waiting for people to turn on your station or, you know, watch online, the billboards are out where people are. And you can remember that phone number, it's easy. And so it, it's a, a reach to people who are in the area going back and forth. It's a reminder that he's still out there, and it's, an, it's a call to action. And I do want to give you that number. This is through the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, 1-800-THE-LOST. So it's an easy number to remember. Nina, it's been 25 years. Did any law enforcement say how common it is to find someone alive after this long? Well, that's something they really, really wanted to stress, Jamie. They say this is still an open and active case. They say they're treating it as if it happened yesterday, that there is nothing to prove that Jacob is, in fact, dead. And they did give me some numbers I want to share with you. They say that, again, this is the Center for Missing and Exploited Children, 2009 through 2013. In that five-year span, they say they found 42 people who had gone missing more than 20 years ago. Wow, that does leave hope. Nina, thank you.